most of the precautions uh, for a patient with a pacemaker involve the first few weeks after having the operation. So the pacemaker is implanted through a minor incision under local anesthetic in the shoulder. And a lot of it is about being sensible in the first few weeks. So there are no problems following the operation. Uh, we often say you need to keep the wound dry and not have bars for the first few days to avoid the wound from falling apart or being infected. We're also really keen for patients not to move their arm too much because once we put the pacemaker in and the leads are stitched down, in the first few weeks, if you move your arm too much, there's a chance that everything can move and we might have to go back and do another operation to reposition the pacemaker. So I often say to patients, don't lift your arm up past the horizontal for at least four weeks, maybe up to six weeks. Don't do any heavy lifting with the arm on which we put on the side of the pacemaker. Don't do any vigorous upper arm activity like swimming, playing tennis, things like that for at least six weeks to allow the pacemaker to fully heal, to allow the wound to fully heal before uh, you get back to a normal life. But really after that, patients can expect to go back and live a very active, normal life six weeks on after the pacemaker procedure. Uh, there's very little that a patient is not allowed to do once they've had the pacemaker implant after the first few weeks. What I just told you earlier on is that in the first six weeks, you have to be very careful about the wound and moving the pacemaker too much. But generally, when people ask me, how will this affect my lifestyle? I would say, after the first six weeks, if everything heals, you should go back to doing all the activities that you want to do. There's nothing specific that we would ask you to avoid. Uh, perhaps avoiding some devices that might interfere with the pacemakers that I can go into a bit more detail. So the pacemaker is a very sophisticated electronic device. So it has to record the heartbeat and deliver electrical pulses to stimulate the heart, get it to beat in a regular way. Now, the problem with any electrical device is if you have some strong electromagnetic field, there is a theoretical risk that this might interfere with the function of the pacemaker. Although the risk is uh, low, most devices have a uh, special casing and very sophisticated electronics to prevent the problem from happening. But we generally advise that uh, you keep a sort of distance from household devices. So generally things like microwaves, hair dryers, they're very safe, but keep at least six inches away from the device. Induction hobs, they produce a stronger magnetic field. For that, we often say, keep two feet away, which is not too difficult. You can use your other arm to cook and avoid the induction hob. You can still use it, just don't get too close to it. Um, things like shop and security, metal detector and security systems, they're generally fine as long as you move through them. Don't hover around too long underneath uh, those gates. And mobile phones, again, six six inches, so no need to keep it in the same pocket on the side of the pacemaker, put it on the other side. But most of these devices very rarely cause any issues, but we do say take general precautions with uh, any possible interference with the pacemaker. Um, there are, again, two phases. There are two phases to when people should avoid exercise uh, following a pacemaker. The majority of it is in the first few weeks because any exercise that is too vigorous can move the pacemakers and the leads that we put in the heart might move and we have to reoperate and reposition them. After the pacemakers heal, patients can go back to exercise and they can play all ranges of sports, you know, tennis, golf. We tend to say be a bit careful on contact sports because you have a device that could well be uh, effectors of martial arts where people are going to kick you in the chest perhaps isn't so sensible when you've got a pacemaker generator there but general exercise is totally fine in after the first few weeks following pacemaker implant and the idea actually is not to restrict patients but to allow patients to go back to doing what they like including all forms of different exercises so um, because the pacemaker is an electronic device, if you have a strong electromagnetic field, it may affect the function of the pacemaker. And of course, if the patient is dependent on the pacemaker to keep the heart beating, 
that could be a bad thing if, if even temporarily the electromagnetic field causes a very short interruption of the pacemaker function. So it's generally advised that patients avoid getting too close to electronic devices, but with a safe distance, uh, most things are fine. So six inches is the general uh, rule for things like mobile phones, uh, microwaves, hair dryers, and so on. Induction hops is a two feet distance, but even then most people can keep that distance. So we're not saying people can't use these devices. They just have to be a little bit sensible given that there is a very, very small risk that they might interfere if you have it very close for long durations, close to the pacemaker itself.